In the 19th century, the German philosopher G.F. Hegel described a way of thinking that he called dialectic, where you take an argument called a thesis, put it in contact with a critique called an antithesis, and try to arrive at something new, a synthesis that combines or negotiates between the two. In research and design, this is what Cornell professor Phoebe Sengers calls critical technical practice. Here's an example from when I was a grad student. I love making things with toy construction kits, as I'm sure you can see back here. Uh, for example, I made this dragon for Dragon Day at Cornell, and you've seen the sculptures on my wall. A few years ago, the artist Golan Levin pointed out that kits like these don't actually allow you to make anything together. Uh, in fact, they're designed to keep you buying more and more of the same products. If you want to combine the capabilities of Tinker Toys with Kinex, you, you just can't do it. So as an art critic, Levin could have stopped there and just made his point. Instead, he encouraged people to create interoperable pieces. And where Levin created 3D printed parts, my artist friend Eric and I used adhesive to make our own connectors, which we called the Toy Interface Construction Kit Learning Environment, or Tickle for short. In this story, the Tinker Toy system was the thesis. The antithesis was Levin's critique that companies have designed these systems to keep you locked in. By imagining and creating new kinds of blocks, we were practicing synthesis. We see something similar in the example final project and personal essay you read for today's class. The team created a research design. Then, one of the students, in their personal essay, summarized an important critique of the project, ending their essay with recommendations for how to resolve the problem. Thesis, antithesis, synthesis. Now, excuse me, I need to update this sculpture. See you online.